Hey guys, good morning. So I'm changing it up a little bit today with my post because, you know, it's not really often talked about how other mental health conditions such as ADHD, anxiety, depression, things like that can actually influence um, our relationship with food. And even if you are struggling with binge eating and impulsivity when it comes to making food choices, um, it's really important to look at maybe other factors that could be causing the, the binges to happen. Um, so I actually get a lot of clients who have ADHD um, like symptoms and they even have been diagnosed with ADHD. And this can be a huge trigger for binging at night. And one of the biggest things with this is that some people actually do forget to eat. Now, as somebody who loves food, and I've had a lot of people tell me like, I can't imagine what it's like to like not think about food and forgetting to eat all day, but this is actually something that can happen for a lot of people, especially with ADHD. Now, this has nothing to do with, you know, them not liking food or not having an interest in food, but with this, it's like you get so caught up in doing certain tasks or your brain just get kind of like gets overwhelmed with a lot of things um, and you forget to eat because it's not like top priority. And so what ends up happening is you unintentionally restrict during the day and then end up with these, you know, insatiable cravings later on. So for some people, it can be really helpful to have more structure in your day where you do have certain times that you remember to eat and like remind yourself to eat so that way you don't end up binging at night um, obviously there are a lot of other factors that could be again potentially contributing to you having these insatiable cravings and end up binging um, but my number one tip is to make sure that you are prioritizing regular meals and snacks throughout the day and you know not forgetting to eat if, if you can try to make that a priority